Well, today is Ladies' Day, um, and I have the great honour of hosting it for the fourth time, fourth year this year for Ladies' Day. Um, and it's really all about getting women involved in the boat show. I've got some media ladies with me today, and they, they've had some fun, great training at Rockley Park. Came down to Rockley, did a, a day's powerboat training, fantastic conditions, and they had an absolute blast, to be honest, and uh, they were very keen to come back and do more. Lady Days is just trying to showcase the fact that this industry has got a high percentage of women taking part. So, for example, we have a high percentage of powerboat instructors who are women. And you couldn't say that ten years ago. Things have changed, they are moving forward, and they're an integral part of our industry. The Rose Road Association is the uh, official charity for Ladies' Day here at the PSP Southampton Boat Show 2011. Um, I'm a trustee of the charity. It's a local charity to Southampton, providing really essential respite uh, services for children with severe uh, disabilities. It also has a, a school that's affiliated with it, that's providing um, educational support, obviously, to those children, which I'm delighted to say has had a consistently high uh, outstanding Ofsted report. Well, we're very, uh, very pleased with Suzuki to be sponsoring this Ladies' Day event. We've got these fantastic rib craft ribs and uh, Suzuki 250s on the back. Um, and uh, we think it's uh, really, really important from the uh, encouraging training and encouraging ladies particularly on the water. Motorboating has traditionally been a male domain, uh, but now uh, young people, ribs, fantastic. Today, in their little challenge, they're going to be doing tight turns, manoeuvres, they're going to be reversing round a boy, picking up like the man overboard boy. Um, so it's really just showing their skills and control of, of a small, small motorboat. Well, I'm not that confident, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun today, so that's all that matters. It's about ladies having fun together. got 250 Suzuki horsepower on the back. Wow. That is quite powerful. Wow. <laughs> Nearly lost the cameraman. Uh, we're now doing a very tricky bit which is come alongside the pontoon or in, in other words we're going to park the boat um, and I think we missed the first time. <laughs> They've thrown a boy over, uh, 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 not a real boy, uh, a plastic boy. I <laughs> wish we had thrown a real boy. Um, over the side, and you basically have to point and shout where they've gone, keep an eye on them, and now she's got to manoeuvre the boat very gently up to the person and get them back on board. Uh, I think we just ran over the man overboard, so i um, just going to try that one again. <laughs> I'm amazed how much I remember from the training. Once we got back in the water, it all came back to me. Um, the boats were a bit different to the ones we trained in, a lot bigger and a lot more responsive. Yeah. So it was you know, quite scary yeah. first time, but uh, the challenges were good. Healthy amount of competition with the other girls. Nice to see some people not saving Bob when he fell in. <laughs> So we think we've got top points on that because Bob got saved twice in our boat. So that was great. And there were quite a few times where it was really difficult just trying to manoeuvre the boat around. It was all about manoeuvres, um, staying in that space, which I found really difficult. But um, I, I did the attempt, which I'm very proud of myself today because the um, where we had to do the 360 turn, I did it first time. Before they could even recover, it was time for some fun and games at the Sea Theatre Live. from Wave 105. And finally, at the end of the day, the ladies put their frocks on and relaxed with some champagne, while the Rose Road Association received a cheque of £500. Pounds.